I'm Susan Koenig and this is Somatics Review. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating some movements, simple movements you can do through the sacroiliac joints. They're very, very good movements for releasing pain and tension in the general area of the sacroiliac joints, low back. I'm going to point out to you where to keep your attention. So I'm just going to turn over onto my knees. Here are the sacroiliac joints. This is where you want to keep your attention, but you also want to keep your attention up and down this line through the sacroiliac joints up the lumbar spine on either side of the lumbar spine because this is the line of the up-down movement. And by keeping your awareness there, you'll really uh, benefit uh, by, uh, through the, uh, the movement through the sacroiliac joints. So now I'm going to lie down and demonstrate this up-down movement, up-down orientated movement through the sacroiliac joints. I like to start with my knees bent, my feet on the floor, and what I'm going to do is I'll start with my left. So I'm going to, I'm going to bring my left hemipelvis up towards my face and then let it release. Then I'm going to bring my right hemipelvis up towards my face and let it release. So if you look at my knees, it's a small movement and you want to keep your buttocks nice and flat on the floor. That way you'll really get more of this up-down motion. And so in anisomatics, you want to do things slowly. So uh, what I like to do is I'm going to start with my left. I'm going to bring my left knee toward my chest and that's going to contract through the sacroiliac joint up through the quadratus lumborum on the left side of the spine and then let that relax and then I'm going to do the same thing with the right as I draw my right up my left retreats toward my feet or downward and then back to neutral so now I'm going to demonstrate that one knee will come towards your chest and the other away. And now I'm changing sides and then to neutral. As this movement becomes easier, I just go into a very short kind of slow flow where I'm doing the movement slow enough that I could really focus on what heavy pelvis is coming headward, what is coming, what is going footward through the neutral point and then switching. And I can feel, I keep my focus in the sacroiliac joints and along the lumbar spine on each side. And it's really a delicious movement. If you run into pain or tension, you do less. And really that's all there is to that particular movement. Now what I like to do to increase the movement through more of my body is I like to just rest my arms up. And now I'm going to let the movement come not only through my sacroiliac joint and pelvis, but I'm going to include my back and my arms, my shoulders, and of course my shoulder blades, the scapulas. So what I like to do is, as I bring my left hemipelvis in the upward direction, I'm going to gently lengthen my right arm. And now vice versa. So I have an up-down direction going all the way through from my pelvis, through my sacroiliac joints, through my lumbar spine, through my back, through my shoulder girdle, my shoulder blades, shoulder and arms. And it just feels really, really very, very good and very complete. It adds something to uh, working with that sacroiliac joint focus to add the arms. So I, I hope you try these uh, simple movements. 
Remember, if you have pain and tension as you do these, do less and go slower. And uh, I think you're going to find it might be one of the movements you add to your movement repertoire to help release out of pain and tension in the sacroiliac area, low back, hip, and even upper groin area. Thank you.